Okay, Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. What we have is a Delta environmental pump. Um, we're going to show you how to rebuild it. Now, one of the things with Deltas is they used a couple different manufacturers for these. And um, you take your four screws off, you're going to open it up. You're going to take the sound heading device off. <clears throat> and you got your uh, chamber blocks, your safety screw is broke. So what you're gonna do is, uh, this is broke off here. So this diaphragm is probably busted. And because of that, the magnet Got that. Oh, it's all dirty. Fair enough. The diaphragm's tore, so that's why your alarm went off. Take this off here. So there's one side, move this down here. Not hard, not difficult, it's pretty simple to do. Um, since we've done so many of these, I can do it a little faster than most people, but. Okay, you're gonna wanna keep these screws here, don't throw these out, because the kits for these don't come with new screws. Now this side, <clears throat> the diaphragm's okay, but it's probably war too. So, what you're gonna do, you just replace them both because the other one broke, this one's about to break. Um, okay. So we got that. Now you take your new kit here, okay? Comes with the filter and all that and got your chamber blocks. You're gonna slap that on there. The orange ring goes on the outside. Then there's these indentions right here, okay? And they fit right in here. So you see how there's a kind of a dog ear right there? That fits in there. You slide that on there. Okay. Now on the magnet, you're gonna have to push a little bit to keep it to stay out. You'll you'll fight it if if not. So it comes with new bolts. You take this. More so on the other side than this side. This thing, once it locks into place, it locks into place. A lot of people, a lot of times when people are rebuilding this, they don't put this tight enough here and uh, it's loose. So it stopped and then you want it on there pretty good. So nice and tight. <clears throat> now when I go to put the other side on, this is where you'll run into some issues sometimes. So, and it's not really an issue, it's just, you gotta get this on there. I'll turn it so you can see it. And you can see that it's not really gonna set. So that magnet wants to move away and pull from the other side, so you gotta push it. So you push the other side of the diaphragm in, so that sets. And once you get it started, you're good to go. So, I always just hold it so that you 
stress on it. <clears throat> and these are seven millimeter. So this is a seven millimeter socket. Okay, so we got this. And go on this on this other side here. Now, what you do is you take this here, this is your chamber block, sets on over here, and this sets over here. And uh, so there's your chamber block on there, okay? And then you take your screws and Set this one. Let's wall it out a little bit. Okay. And you don't do it too tight. You don't want to crack this. So I recommend you do it with a regular hand, just a Phillips head hand hand screw. Otherwise, you can crack that and then you have to buy another kit. So it's just that we I've done this so many times that that's not gonna happen when we do this. And then take the other one, do the same thing on the other side. And a lot of people think that, oh, my aerator's broke. But in reality, what's happened is, I'll show you in just a second, is the safety screw is broke. And my luck, the, uh, the, uh, I will break the corner. I will have to start this all over, but, all right, that's good. Now here's your safety, that's where your safety screw goes. So when this separates, when the magnet travels too far, it hits this and it breaks this little bar here. And then this, there's little tabs on the, on the magnet and that shuts the whole unit off. So a lot of people think, oh, it's not running at all. Well, it's not running at all because this is separated. So on this air pump, what you do is, <clears throat> here's your safety screw. You insert it right here. Okay. And this little, this little nylon nut drive you nuts sometimes. But, take the nylon nut. And this takes some down sometimes. And this is going to be a little difficult. Once you get it started, it's easy. But getting it started is the key. Okay, now we got it started. So I'm just going to take this, my little banged up flathead, screw this into place. And there's two, there's two sets of threads. A lot of people think, oh, I gotta get to the second set of thread. You don't. So you just, there's, once it gets past that first set of threads and it's nice and tight like so, you're good to go. So uh, now we're gonna test it. So test it before you put it all back together. running again so this thing can come back it doesn't put out a lot of pressure so these, these just hold it on there um, but they need to be on there put your noise deadener back on there it's gonna be a little tight but uh, you just slip it on there and then you put this back on and there you go so you just put back together and it don't take that long to do and then you rebuild it. Now, some of the tom some of the some of the deltas are actually this aerator right here. Okay, this is really old. These are ancient. Okay, and a lot of people think, well, I got a delta, and uh, I'm going to get a rebuild kit for it. And they get a rebuild kit, and they don't they don't know these are really old. 
They don't make rebuild kits for them. So look at your aerator and make sure you know which one you got. They're pretty distinguishable. These have, you know, got a black top on them. The filter cover doesn't go all the way over them. Um, where these, the filter cover does, they're a little bit different shape. You got screws in the base. So those are telltale signs that you can rebuild them. These, uh, n you're no luck on those. So uh, no rebuild kits for those. And they're so old, I doubt it could be rebuilt. So um, anyways, just know that and uh, you can go from there. So that's how you rebuild a, a Delta Environmental uh, or a Whitewater uh, DF Series. And uh, we sell the rebuild kit so you can get them. There'll be a link down below. So go to wholesaleseptiksupply.com and get your kit. All right, bye.